Miko, the people of Inazuma are afraid of me. And for good reason, no? A bolt of lightning from you would make even my fur stand on end. You know I would never do such a thing. Nor would I eat anyone. Yet a writer of mine seems convinced that I'd turn into an evil kitsune and eat him alive if he doesn't submit his drafts on time. Honestly, where do people get these ideas? Hmm, although to be fair, after I learned that he was afraid of me, I did start acting like I might actually eat him. Needless to say, his punctuality is now improving with each draft. Hmm. Say, Kirara, how flexible is your company in terms of delivering different types of goods? How about a living person? And what about someone who's more in between alive and dead? Uh-huh. Uh... Guess that's a no. Inazuma's Archon bolts her way to the semifinals, only to be stunned by a crafty opponent. Ooh, that's a nice title. Lightning from Inazuma won't be able to reach me in Fontaine, right? Besides, it was a close match. It could have swung either way. I wouldn't exactly call losing in three rounds a close match. Hey, Shinobu, cut me some slack in front of my friends, okay? Anyway, it's not like you did much better. Weren't you beaten by that fish lady? Uh, Sandy Mama Mia, whatever her name was? <sighs> Sangonomiya Kokomi? We should be heading back now. Eh, they can wait a little longer. At least let my compadre and I play one last match. You can't say no to that. Pretty please? Ah, <sighs> fine. It's okay, I don't blame you, but you should probably leave. You don't want to see a grown Oni cry. <laughs>